volume of hollow shell. Now this is a hollow shell, such as a, a fisherman sinker. So let's read the question. A cylindrical hole of diameter 2 centimeters is bored through a sphere of radius 4 centimeters. The hole has been bored so that the main axis passes through the center of the sphere. Calculate the volume of the remainder of the sphere. Now this is uh, this is an image of a spherical sink sinker that fishermen use to fish. Okay. Now this is the hole. This is the hole that is bored through the center. So this is this is the hole. Okay, we are talking about. So this hole has the shape of a cylinder. So for this, the radius, the radius is one centimeter. The radius is one. This hole which goes right through the center, has a radius of one centimeter and has got a height. So because the sphere has a radius of four centimeters, so the height would be eight centimeters. I'll explain this in a different way when we draw this graphically. Okay, so let me draw the X and the Y axis. So this is a solid. This sphere or uh, any sphere can be understood as a uh, solid of uh, revolution. So imagine this is a circle. Okay, this is a circle with center 0, 0, centered at 0 or origin, and has a radius of 4 centimeters. So this is 4 and this is 4, negative 4, this is plus 4 and this is negative 4. Now, so the equation of this circle, so the hole is here. The hole, I hope you can visualize. This is a cylindrical cylindrical bore or a hole which is bored through the center of the sphere. Okay. So the, I hope you can see the height is four and four eight. That's why I wrote the height eight. Okay, now when you're rotating, when you rotate this circle or this top bit over x axis, imagine this this is what you're rotating over x-axis. You're rotating over x-axis and what you're going to get is a sphere. Okay. So when you rotate this, you're going to get a sphere. So let's write the equation of this circle. So the equation of this circle, I hope you know, is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Okay, because I already used the formula of x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So this is the general formula for area, uh, for a circle with center 0, 0 and a radius of r. So r is 4 here and that's why I wrote 16 here. So I can I write y squared is equal to 16 minus x squared. 16 minus 16 minus x squared. So, so the volume of the remaining remainder of the sphere would be the volume of this sphere take away the volume of this hole. So let's write the volume of the hole first. So the volume of hole, which is cylindrical, and the volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times h, which is pi times 1 squared times 8. 8 is the height. So the volume of the hole is 8 pi. So volume of the remainder, so let me write volume, volume of, uh, volume, I'll write just volume. Volume is the volume of this sphere, which is, you can integrate from minus 4 to plus 4 of pi times r squared. Your r, let me draw a strip. It's always got, good to draw a strip. So you're rotating, imagine you're rotating this strip. If you're rotating this strip over x-axis, your width is going to be dx and your radius is going to be y. So imagine, so let me draw a disk. I hope you can see, imagine this is a disk. When you're rotating, oops, yeah, so I think that's fine. So this is a disk that is rotating. When you rotate this, line segment over x-axis you're going to get a strip and the volume of this disk would be pi times radius squared your radius is y so it is pi times radius squared which is y squared 
times the thickness. So the thickness of the disk, I hope you can see the thickness. So this is the thickness of the disk. The thickness of the disk would be dx. So this is the thick, this is the disk. And if you add up all the infinite disks from minus 4 to plus 4, that will give you the volume of the sphere. So pi times radius squared times dx. So this is volume of one disk. And or this is the volume of the whole uh, sphere minus, uh. minus the volume of the minus the volume of the hole, which is 8 pi. Okay, so this will have what will. So let me scroll up. So this is equal to instead of integrating from minus 4 to plus 4, it is same as integrating from 0 to 4 and then times it by 2. So this is same as 2 pi times integration from 0 to 4 of y squared. What is y squared? y squared is 16 minus x squared dx minus 8 pi. Okay, so let's go over this very slowly. So this is 8 pi. So integrating this, so when integrating 16, you get 16x minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 4 minus 8 pi. You can pause this video and try to do the rest yourself. So this is equal to 2 pi times, if so put this back, it's 4 times, 16 times 4 is 64 minus, minus, this is 4 cubed, which is 64 over 3 minus 8 pi. So this is, let me get my calculator. So menu, run. So 64 minus 64 ABC3, which is 128 over 3. So this is 2 pi times 128 over 3 minus 8 pi. Okay, so this becomes this is 256 pi over 3 minus 8 pi. So let me do this. So this is times by 2. We'll give you 256 pi over 3. Take away 8, which is 232 pi over 3. So the final answer is 232 pi over 3. And let's get the exact answer. And this times by shift pi. So this is 243 pi over 3. And so answer, so the final answer is 242.9 centimeter cube. 242.9 centimeter cube is the volume of this sphere, which has a hole from the middle.